What's going on, everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown. Today, we're checking out the Chiefs' second round picks Nick Bolton and Creed Humphreys uh, out of Oklahoma. Nick Bolton, obviously, out of Missouri. A couple of really good picks for the Kansas City Chiefs, in my opinion. Um, you know, I'll get into why I think they're good in a second. Before I do, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to my channel, the Hook Cam, I mean, the absolute world to me. Also, check out Jackson Kruger Sports. Um, over at Jackson Kruger, he's been pumping out videos left and right. This is his time to shine, and he is absolutely crushing it. One more thing, I go live every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 5 o'clock Pacific. If you guys want to roll through, ask questions. Uh, me, Eric, and Mike, we're all just hanging out, talking, talking sports, talking about anything, really. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into these Chiefs draft picks. I, I love both of these picks. Let me start off by saying that, and there's been some teams that I don't like their picks, so I'm not just saying that uh, because they're the Kansas City Chiefs. I do think that these are two really good picks for them. Um, a couple of areas where they needed to get better at was offensive line and linebacker. Uh, when they played the 49ers in the Super Bowl, they were able to get away with a good front four um, and linebackers that could move around and make tackles. And, you know, there were a lot of gap scheme, a lot of zone scheme out of the 49ers, but they were able to cover up wherever their deficiencies were with their defensive line play uh, and with their linebackers. Now, I think that they kind of took a step back a little bit, and we saw that in the Super Bowl. Um, Tampa Bay kind of really did whatever they want as far as offensively um, and defensively. The Chiefs didn't really have a, a chance to respond. I think that, you know, Tampa Bay kind of did their thing, and that's where the Chiefs were trying to address their issues. That's kind of why I'm going down that road. Now, Nick Bolton addresses those issues for you, right? And, and it's kind of interesting because you look at Willie Gay last year and you look at Nick Bolton this year both big dudes who can run sideline to sideline they can cover when they need to I think that Nick Bolton is more traditional like between the tackles he can make those plays he can come up and run fit he can make plays downfield as we see right here he's chasing guys down he's fast as hell man I'll be honest with you this kid is, is an athletic athletic freak um, there's no question that he can cover guys he can drop into that you know deep zone not deep zone but like Tampa 2 coverage I guess I should say um, he's got a great motor on him he hits like a truck too you see a couple of hits in here where he's not falling backwards the other guy is uh, he comes downhill when he makes plays I, I absolutely love this pick and one of the reasons why is because again it's a it's an addressing a concern for the Kansas City Chiefs and you have a decent front four you have guys who can play up front and really what those front four guys are trying to do especially in that Spagnuolo 4-3 is they're trying to free up space for the linebackers right let those cats go sideline to sideline let them run and this play right here is an absolutely great example of what Nick Bolton can do shooting a gap against South Carolina this is absolutely outstanding right now he's working right straight through this gap right here and that's just outstanding I mean it's a really good play um, obviously you know it's it's college and having that translation to the NFL is definitely going to be different however I think this kid has a good nose for the football like I said before super athletic he can cover when he needs to comes up and makes a play right here on Najee Harris um, we can see his athleticism and that's what really shines through and we're kind of seeing that trend now in the NFL with you know coaches maybe taking a chance on someone who's not as known just because they're a great athlete and they believe that they can coach him not necessarily saying that's what's happening right now with Nick Bolton, the Kansas City Chiefs. I think that he's pretty well coached down at Missouri. Um, but like I said, he's an athlete. He can fly. He can move sideline to sideline and make plays. He's also big enough to play like a true Mike, I think, and play, you know, between the tackles and stuff runs in there. But like I said, kid hits like a truck, insanely athletic, going to be a def definitely a boost for the Chiefs, somebody that I can see getting a decent amount of play time in his first year. Now, the other pick I want to talk about and the one that really gets me fired up, man, is this kid Creed Humphrey right here. This dude is one of my favorite linemen in this draft. And this is a draft full of some really good offensive linemen, some of the guys who are under the radar. I am shocked that Creed Humphrey went late in the second to the Kansas City Chiefs. This is an absolute gold mine of a pick. I mean, Creed Humphrey was, I want to say, a four-year starter, if not a three-year starter at Oklahoma. Maybe he left his junior year. This kid is one of the best centers in college football. Him and Landon Dickerson this year out of uh, Alabama were two of the best centers in football. This kid does everything you need him to. He's great in pass protection. He's an absolute cornerstone of that offensive line right in the middle of, of, of this thing. And you start looking at the, the pieces that the Chiefs have in place now, right? We have Orlando Brown that they just picked up last week, Joe Tooney, Kyle Long, Creed Humphrey. Now we've got four legitimate starters, and it's insane to think about this. The fact that the Kansas City Chiefs 
a couple of weeks ago, we're sitting here looking at it, and they cut Mitch Schwartz, or excuse yeah, they cut Mitch Schwartz, I was about to say his brother. They cut Mitch Schwartz, um, they cut Eric Fisher, and it kind of all hell's breaking loose. Everybody's worried about what's going to happen. And within a, a month, within a month and a half, they've already got guys in place, and they have a legitimate starting NFL caliber offensive line out there like an offensive line that could be a top 10 caliber offensive line I mean th- these are some legit cats that they got up front and they get no worse with a dude like Creed Humphrey this kid's gonna fit right in he's gonna play great football for the Kansas City Chiefs I'm excited to see how they use him because he did do some really cool stuff as far as polling and, and stuff like that out of Oklahoma we all know how crazy Lincoln Riley is I say that jokingly Lincoln Riley is one of my Lincoln Riley is one of my favorite coaches in college right now absolute stud but just a couple couple of clips right here that kind of stuck out to me this is again just their game against Florida um, he's got a reach block here that I think is just outstanding like I said his pass protection he's great with his eyes too and pass pro this is another thing that this kid has is he is very very football smart right and I've seen a couple of like film room stuff um, Jeff Schwartz is doing some of the film room stuff and I think I saw it from somebody else I want to say it was Brandon Thorne where they were doing like a film room thing and they had Creed Humphrey in there and he does a great job of explaining everything and he's got everybody dialed in he knows he points out the mic all of that stuff that you want to see from your center it's the brains of the operation he does that to a t and it's not like he's deficient when it comes to actually blocking like this cat's an absolute stud when it comes to blocking dudes and moving guys off the line of scrimmage this reach block right here is outstanding that we're going to see and this is something that the chiefs run right and again i i I kind of don't like to make that comparison because a lot of stuff they run in, in college, they're going to run in the pro. There's going to be a little bit more fine tuning when you actually hit the NFL. It's just a really simple wide zone, right? And with this, you want to make sure that your center's getting his helmet on that play side, which is exactly what happens. When you do that, you allow your guard to be able to come up here and clean up that mess for you as he's working upfield trying to get to that backer at the second level, which is 11, who they're targeting. Back ends up cutting it back. But kid's an absolute stud, um, does everything you need him to, and you can get you can get a little funky with him, get a little sexy with him, pull him on a couple of run plays, right? maybe a little buck sweep where you pull the center, stuff like that he's going to be able to do. So I think it's going to be some really, really exciting times for the Chiefs. But all in all, man, this is why I, I like the Chiefs organization, right? And people know I'm, I'm a Patriots fan 100%, but the way the Chiefs run their organization, the picks that they make, the, how they go about fixing their team is why I like them so much. Because there's some teams in the NFL who don't always do the right thing, right? They make the sexy pick instead of, instead of the smart pick. These are two smart picks from the Kansas City Chiefs. They could have gone out and got a receiver because there is somewhat of a need for them right now, but they know that they can cover that up with Mahomes. They know that they need linebackers. They need centers. That, excuse me. They need offensive linemen. They go and they take two dudes who can come in and possibly be day one starters for them. You don't see a lot of other NFL franchises doing that. It's part of the reason why I like the Chiefs so much and why I respect that organization so much. They do a great job there. I'm really interested to see what they do in the rest of this draft. But like I said, two guys who I think could possibly be day one starters. I would bet money on Creed Humphrey being a day one starter for the Kansas City Chiefs, though. And all of a sudden, man, Chiefs got an offensive line again. Patrick Mahomes is very, very happy about the Creed Humphrey pick. I guarantee you that. Like I said, kid's an absolute stud, one of my favorite centers. Um, He's like Oklahoma born and bred. I think he was like literally born in Oklahoma. Dad went to Oklahoma, boomer sooner the whole way, and now he gets to play for the Kansas City Chiefs. Not a bad day for that kid. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Make sure we hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It means the absolute world to me. Um, Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I'm pumping these bad boys out left and right. That's all I got for you guys today, though. Stay safe. Hope we're all enjoying draft day, and I'll see you next time.